back, back at Bloodstock again, and we're here with uh, Winterfell. Uh, am I pronouncing that correctly? You are. That's absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. Excellent. I, have, I confess, for years I've been pronouncing it as Winterfell. Yeah, that's the incorrect way. So you just did it perfectly. I got it right. So Winterfell, uh, who are playing at the uh, Sophie stage today at Bloodstock. That's uh, correct. So it's been a, an odd year and a half. Um, what you guys, are you, is this your first show since you found out you're playing here or have you had a chance to, to warm up at, at all? No, this, this, this is, a, oh you're on a camera, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is our first show back after the last show we played, I think it was February 2020 at the, that Descended from Odin Festival in York at the Barbican. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's been a, a, a strange thing. Obviously, maybe I'd have maybe liked a smaller warm-up show, but, um, <laughs> but here we are, straight onto the big stage. So, straight into a big festival. So we better not cock it up. Yeah. It's very strange being back at a big festival playing after. Well, I guess you've had the same answer from absolutely everybody you've interviewed this weekend, haven't you? It's strange, but also feels kind of normal to be back at an event like this. Yeah. So the uh, the last 18 months, obviously, live touring has been a, a bit of an issue. Uh, how have you kept busy? Have you been working on a, anything musical-wise, or have you just been kind of rehearsing online? Have you managed to do anything like that? Have you been writing material? Uh, have you taken a bit of a breather? It's been, I mean, I think different for everybody. Russell plays another band, Necronautical, who are playing tomorrow. Right, yeah. So so they've just put a new album, or they're putting out a new album, like, tomorrow or something. Like that. Is it tomorrow? It's Friday. Friday, yeah. Friday. So, so they've, they've got a new record coming out. So obviously those guys are working on that. For Winterfell, um, we kind of didn't want to sort of like rush out a new record and like get deep into it because our our new record um, came out in May in the in the middle of the pandemic, so we haven't had a chance to play those songs live yet. We didn't want to do that record, which was probably our biggest record, a disservice by um, by kind of like rushing something else out because we had time. So we, you know, I mean, for myself, we've been working on. Um, uh, a separate project that we maybe going to release at some point. Simon drumming, me playing guitar, like a death metal thing. Cool. And um, obviously, we've had to spend some time because Russell's new to the Winterfell fold, kind of um, learning the songs together. You know, kind of getting rehearsed up and um, obviously getting match fit for this kind of thing. You know, when it could finally happen again. I think, in a sense, like being a new member. Um, obviously, the pandemic was a very unusual circumstance, but in a sense, it, it was probably nice for us because uh, we got to spend more time in the rehearsal studio getting to get through the material and also getting to know each other yeah. rather than let's say you know this shit never happened um, it would probably be a case of like okay right you're in the fold but we're on stage in four weeks you know so it probably would have been less more hectic and it's been nice actually to, uh, to have that time just to sort of uh, comfortably sort of move into it uh, without so much pressure and uh, a few new ideas kicking about as well but uh, it's always good yeah. to look at the, uh, the, the the positive sides a little bit isn't it but there's, it's an enforced situation but there's always a way of dealing with it so, so yeah. Yeah. I, I think you've got to kind of you know bring your own energy to it I think a lot of people kind of have turned inwards a little bit throughout this and you can understand why but uh, other bands have like been pumping five albums out last year and stuff you know like some of these bands yeah, or sing, know. single release after single release yeah yeah and release. you know uh, you can't tell anybody how to deal with it because everyone had their own situation and their own work environment and stuff and it's just been you know everyone's coat you know we, I think from, from a winner for the perspective we've done quite two or three kind of uh, a 10 year anniversary edition of one of our earlier albums kind of some like reissues of albums that needed it um, we reissued our split with drug from the Ukraine and and just kind of like try to sort of make the most of some of our uh, lack uh, you know not in print kind of copies lacking back catalog stuff and, and just try and keep the, keep the ball rolling you know not to try and oversaturate people with stuff but yeah. remind people that we're still alive and that we're still a band you know and as soon as we can get back to it we are and we will and here we are I guess so we'll get a chance to remind them later on today hopefully so yeah and um, you know it's um, it's always been a great show for us at Bloodstock people have always responded really well to our band and, and uh, uh, you know as I said when we played here in 2017 without sounding cheesy it's uh, it just feel like coming home because the, you know these people in this festival kind of launched our band pretty much in kind of 2009 and 10 and we um, we've grown ever since and they've always kind of stuck by us and, and let us play and kind of pushed us up their bills and stuff so it's uh, it's, it's nice to come full circle and do that stuff from my perspective yeah, anyway. I think Bloodstock was the first big festival we ever played as a young band you know over 10 years ago I think it was 2010 was the first 
that's where it's at yes well, yeah. and um, you know we were all sort of we'd, we'd played festivals before in other bands and so forth so we were used to it but for Winterfell if that was the first kind of big thing that we did and then you know we went on to festivals around Europe and so forth um, but we've always consistently come back here haven't we yeah I think so. we've always had like a kind of you know a nice bond with the kind of the Gregory's and the, the, you know, the family that runs the festival and stuff and they've always been really cool with us and um, I well, like it. Fans, yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, so, absolutely. Yeah. And they've come, you know, we've come as fans every more or less every year when we're not playing. We've played in our other side projects here and stuff. You know, so, so yeah, we've been mainstays, and um, and, and I'm glad for it. You know, there's not many festivals anymore that would kind of give a platform to younger developing bands to, yeah. you know, yeah. particularly this year pushing all the kind of UK bands because of other bands couldn't make it and stuff. And, and actually, I, I've got nothing but respect for them. You know. It's, it's, a, it's yeah, a cool thing. Yeah, it, it was bold. Um, I'm glad to see that it paid off. It's uh, it's just interesting that, you know, obviously, fundamentally, a pandemic's a bad situation, but uh, it's important to focus on the positives, and it's actually quite cool to have a festival which is, uh, you know, primarily homegrown, and actually be giving uh, this, see this festival pushing forward and giving big opportunities to bands that, uh, under different circumstances, may not have got them, but... Um, yeah, it just goes to show the strength of the scene over yeah, here. I think the, the big positive is when you look at the list and you, you see all these bands and you realise how strong the metal scene is across all the genres, just in our, our little island. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's very, very impressive. And you look at the holding their own um, on positions on the bill they may not otherwise have got had an international bill. And you look at the crowds and they are responding. Yeah. It's, it's I think you sometimes fantastic. almost forget how many great bands come from the UK and how many genres of music have started in this country. You know, like... Yeah, we've still got a diverse lineup. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's like big bands, you know, like obviously bands like Cradle have always been around, and you know, Paradise Lost, like great bands like that, you know. That I, I don't know, I think under different circumstances, you might sort of think, oh, you just expect them to be there, but you know, yeah. these are guys from like the same town as I'm from, like Paradise Lost, you know, they grew up, yeah. I grew up where they grew up, you know, it's like. It's a big thing, I think, from where we all came from to kind of be, you know, top of the bill at like one of these big festivals. It's cool. Yeah, it's really impressive. So, um, with everything starting to open up again a little bit, this is obviously your, your first gig. Uh, have you got anything else lined up after this? Yeah, a few bits and pieces. We've got a smaller, um, I guess, like boutique festival next weekend. Not, uh, what's it called? Northern Darkness Northern Festival Darkness. in Cumbria. Yeah. I like. I think that's what I think. Is that, is yeah, that yeah, the yeah, right no, expression? No, I like no, that. No, this is funny. No, 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 it's true. Like it's like a two, well, two, almost two, like the polar opposite. There's like a very intimate, old school black metal show almost in a national environment, like super limited. DIY. Which is like DIY. such a stark contrast. So it's going to be really cool to come out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, we, then we've got a tour with this band Mork from uh, Norway in October, which would be great. And then we've got. Lots of stuff in the pipeline that we're going to announce later in the year, maybe next year. It's obviously a difficult one. We've got like two big tours planned, lots of festival performances like in the pipeline for next year. But you just there's that sort of like level of unconfidence, perhaps that like will it will it won't it? You know, are we going to be able to go back to Europe? Are we not? What what's going to happen? So I think lessons learned from the kind of the last sort of year or so. There's some cool stuff to come in principle, yeah. but let's just hope it kind the of The pandemic makes it. almost prepares you for disappointment, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the crowd are prepared for disappointment today. <laughs> I'm glad somebody else said that. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely certain they won't be, guys. Uh, I'm looking forward to catching you, you, you later. Um, I'm sure you'll absolutely flip and nail it. And as we, all, all the bands we've talked to so far, it's, it's that, that first song, you get the response back, and you will know you are, to use a phrase, you're back home. Yeah, absolutely. I hope so. Well, well let's hope so. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers for very very welcome. Appreciate it. Thanks very much.